How could you be spiritualistic if you're one of the fakest people on the planet? Former pinup Lacey Wilde, also known as Paula Thebert, is famed for her quest to have the world's biggest boobs. I'm a Q now. I've upgraded my breast to a bigger size. I've had about 100 and some surgeries. I was living as a glamour model and a reality TV star. And guess what? I wasn't happy. You want to know why? Because I needed to go, instead of going out there and searching for happiness, I needed to go inside myself. The mum of six has traded in her lavish lifestyle in favour of a more humble existence as a spiritual medium using the pseudonym Ghost Busty. I got rid of everything and now I'm living, I don't even have air conditioning. Everybody might think I'm, it's a PR stunt, but I don't need anyone to believe me. Lacey believes she has premonitions about the future. I think that the things that are gonna happen now is like Japan's gonna have a really big earthquake. There's gonna be a sickness that comes from a country with dark skinned people. Um, they wear clothing, they w don't wear shoes. I think we'll have a, a big a downfall in Wall Street as soon as the president's elected. And her powers don't stop there. I can feel when someone's sick. Also when someone's evil, like I had this guy recently that was at the beach and he had a little girl with him. Well, when I touched his hand, I started to throw up immediately. And I just felt fear of children their fear, like desperation. So I went on home on the internet and I searched him all night and by the police he had molested 59 little girls. I've been told, the reason I think I have the gift is how many life death experiences I've had since I was born, since I was young. I was supposed to go in a car, I didn't go in the car and the next thing I know, the people that got in the car, they got in an accident and died. I wrote a paper on witchcraft when I was in middle school and everybody at school started calling me the witch. Right to this day, if you go to my hometown, Everybody does this to me. Lacey's spiritual side is something that her children have experienced too. My home has always been haunted in different ways, different people in my house. And so we started investigating. My son saw another one of me in another room. My other son got picked up off the floor and thrown. My daughter, she actually sees dead people and they come to her and talk to her. My mom's just uh, been spiritual all the time and she and me and my sisters do tarot cards with her. It does freak me out a little bit, but I've learned to get used to it because she's my mom and I still love her. World of her tarot reading abilities has started to spread and Lacey has plenty of customers. How are you? Come on in, Parker. Yes, are you nervous? <laughs> are you really? And have you ever had a reading before? No, I've never had a reading before. Never? So this says that you're stuck in stagnant water. That's what this is telling me that you are just, you're kind of in a rut. Live spontaneously. Do something. How old are you? 24. You're 24. Do you know what I was doing when I was 24? I was a showgirl in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> yeah, I was on billboards. <laughs> never been to Vegas. Anyway, thanks for coming. Oh, no. I hope I helped you out. Thank you. No. Lacey is currently single, and although she shares a passion for the spiritual with her ex-boyfriend Greg, she doesn't see a man in her future. The spiritual life that I'm living is almost like a relationship with the spirit instead of with a boyfriend. Now I'm changing people's lives. Like I, the other day, this lady came up and she's like, oh, I saw you on TV. And immediately I got the feeling that she should go get a mammogram. She emailed me on my Facebook and said, you saved my life. Wow. She had a, two polyps. You know, we're helping people change, the, we're changing the world one soul at a time. You know, we're helping a lot of people reaching out to people. But one thing Lacey does predict is bigger boobs. I'm gonna get more surgeries. A lot of people think, oh, well, what an ego she's got. But the truth is, it's like, oh, she's fake, but then she wants to be spiritual. And listen, stop judging everybody. Everybody has to go through these, down these roads. And you know what? Go. Everybody's on a journey and they're exactly where they're supposed to be. Or if you'd like me to come investigate a haunting at your house, I would love to hear your story. So if there's something strange in your neighborhood, there's only one person to call.